What? Oh, okay, now I can read it. If he denies the Dark Lord his place of rest, the veil of darkness shall be lifted. Lord Nikolai, 1962. Is that a real croak? Oh, creepy music. Oh, that's that's a cool opening, the creepy music and everything. Ooh, look at that. Some shadowy figure in the background. Oh, he transforms into a bat. He's a vampire. Wow, okay. Whoa, that's a creepy intro. Damn. Wow. <laughs> that is a creepy introduction. Okay. Veil of Darkness. It's a 1993 horror game by Strategic Simulations. Uh, that's a cool opening. Um, yeah, I don't. I haven't played this game before. Uh, I think it's it's not like very well known, uh, but it definitely catches my interest for sure. Is this? I I also like all any early like any 90s DOS game I'm, I'm interested in. But something from the early 90s, by like strategic simulations, I'm always interested in. So, yeah, we're heading over uh, Romania, which is where Dracula lives, right? Transylvania. Even this music. Ooh. That's Dracula. Oh, he has a pendant that can see into the... can see him, okay. Crash. Looks like we're gonna crash. Look at that head on the wall, that's creepy. Oh shit, bat crashes into the... <coughs> yeah, look at the head pinned onto the wall. That's for sure, like, uh, well, I mean, Dracula, I heard, was inspired by Vlad the Impaler, so... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, Dracula's taking me. Awaken. Whoa. She looks creepily almost realistic, actually, for 1993 standards. <laughs> it's actually pretty creepy, <laughs> to be honest. Wow, those are huge eyes. Alright, so this is a point and click adventure, right? <clears throat> yeah, I guess this is a point and click adventure. Which is always like cool. I, I love uh, early '90s point and clicks. These are always have a lot of charm to them. Father. 
My name is Deary Train. Okay. <clears throat> um. <laughs> should I name Mark? Okay. Oh uh, no, I, it just feels right to use that kind of name. I, I don't want to use my usual screen names for this guy because he just seems like such a normal guy. He'll leave you little time to flirt with his only daughter. Okay, so yeah, it's a point and click. Um, yeah, let's uh, check it out here. Nothing take. Okay, can we open here? Oh, I actually have a sword. I wonder if I can. Oh, a knife actually. If I can wield a knife here. Can I talk to her? She's not going to care that I'm wielding a knife. Okay. Can't do anything. Open chest. Nope. My HP. My. Look, I'm inside a coffin here. Oh, I guess I better not kill her, right? That would be a bad thing. <laughs> be a bad thing if I killed her. Okay, how do I open the door here? Oh. Okay. Would you like to play this full simplified or easy combat? I guess I'll go with simplified. I don't know what's the difference simplified and easy. Whoa, so many rooms. So many rooms. Which ones can I open? <laughs> In that case, I'll print the message. There's nothing important behind this door. You don't need to figure out how to get past the door. Okay, there's nothing important behind this door. Okay, there's nothing important. So the, the game will tell you there's nothing important. Okay, cool. Uh, nope, can I open here? Oh. oh. Okay, this is the living room, I guess. Study. Okay, the big living room, piano. Oh, here's a guy here. Mr. Christopheric will be most pleased. Oh, this is the same interface used in um, the other game I was playing. Anyways, this is a... <coughs> you can tell this is by Strategic Simulations, actually. Yeah. They use this uh, that kind of in dialogue interface in their other point and clicks, too. In the RPGs, actually. They use it in their RPGs as well. Yeah. Similar dialogue interface. Can I go here? There. Oh, here's this guy. See how you're alive and well. When the metal beast fell from the sky... Ah, so he doesn't know what an airplane is. So I had to get a hammer for him. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's go, I guess. Alright, well, let's see what's going on here. This is the bar. 
<clears throat> Edward's body. A werewolf? There's a werewolf around here? There's a werewolf around here. Hmm. Okay, not just a vampire, there's also werewolves. Okay, they're all, they're all talking, okay. Same conversation. Let's go this guy. Only the best for such a fine goblet. <laughs> With this woman here. Okay. This is the storage room, right? I wonder whose bedroom is this is. Yeah, well, um, this is an adventure game, but it's not like it's a point and click, but it's not like as in depth as some other point and clicks because I can't exactly examine a lot of things like I can in usual point and click games. Yeah, I can't exactly examine a lot of stuff, can I? Like, I can't open this cupboard or cabinet or anything. Hmm. Whoops. Oh my god. There. Nope, nothing here. These are all different suites, maybe, from an inn? Yeah, I think these are all just suites for an inn. Okay. Let's go back down. Yeah, okay. Oh wait a minute, what's what's that other door here? Hold on. One door I missed. I'm Annabelle. So that's obviously a shopkeeper. I don't have a silver coin. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any money right now. No money. But they say, people say more money, more problems, am I right? <clears throat> so maybe no money means no problems? <laughs> no, I don't think it works that way. Door is locked. Whoa, trail of blood coming from behind the bookshelf. What the heck? Trail of blood coming from behind the bookshelf. Okay, I got this. Torn fabric. Okay. Very interesting. There's a bloody stained torn fabric that I got here, which might be a clue. Do, 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 do. Okay. 
Who's this? Hmm. That's just like a little kid here. Oh wait, I can go downstairs. <clears throat> oh yeah, let's take a look. I always like to explore everything, you know? Don't leave anything. No stone is gonna be left unturned when I play point and clicks. Joseph. You're more bird than man, covered in glistening scales of steel, armed with long sharp talons? What the heck? Natalia. Okay. So he's making candles. Can't buy anything right now. Okay. Interesting. Can I go over here? Nope, I can't. What the heck? <coughs> No, I guess I can't get over here. What the heck? Nope. Wait, have I been here? Yeah, I have. Okay. Just making sure. Hmm. So I can't go out. I think I've been everywhere there. Two, two silver coins. Cool. I um, need that currency. Door is locked. Well, at least I got some currency now. I can use to make some purchases. can I do here? Went to tavern, went here, went here. So this one I can, right? Oh no, I can, okay. But what else is here? Is that torn, torn fabric? It's a pry bar, okay. Can I use this on something? Nope. Nope. 
Okay, so how can I get out when I can't get out? What? Just to double check my quest again. Go back and ask him. You don't have the hair with the ask you to fetch. How am I supposed to get the hammer? How am I supposed to get the hammer again? Because <clears throat> uh, I cannot go out this way, right? No, I can't go out this way. How am I supposed to get the hammer? do anything here. So I don't know how I'm supposed to get the hammer. How am I supposed to get the hammer? I can't get out of here, right? Yeah, I, I can't get out of this. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I can I can lift this up? Okay, interesting. Um, well, that's a cool way to see your entire inventory, but yeah, I want to be able to get out of here and I can't. <laughs> Where am I supposed to get the hammer from then? Where am I supposed to get the hammer from? Well, at least I have two silver coins. I do have coins now, though. Hmm. Because I still can't buy stuff. I'll buy it. Okay, so I got some fennel branch. Again, I'm not sure where to use it though. Okay. Can I just do buy here? Yeah, okay. Ooh, darts. <clears throat> I think I can play some darts here, right? Can I, can I play some darts? There. Play darts. No, can I... How do I use it on something? Do I, can I use it here? Nope. I'm not sure how do I use items. I'm, I'm clicking here and it doesn't do anything. Not sure how I use items. Oh no, not this. Can I take this? Nope. Take this? Nope. Yeah, and these are just rooms, right? Rooms to rent out. Yeah. Hmm. Not sure how do I get the hammer. Not sure how do I get the hammer. Well, um, hmm, not much I can do here. Yeah. I think I've, I've checked every place. Um, I think one thing about this game is it doesn't seem I have too many... It doesn't seem like I have too many ways to interact with objects compared to other point-and-click games. So, I can only take stuff. I can only, like, walk into them or take stuff, so... Yeah, I'm not really sure how to use any of these items. 
So that's one issue, and uh, yeah, I can't seem to get out of here, so I'm not sure how to get a hammer, what that guy's looking for. Um, so anyways, yeah, the guys, this is Veil of Darkness. Um, I think it's, yeah, it's just like a lot of the other 90s point clicks, I think it has a lot of charm to it. Uh, in these early 90s games, or uh, mid-90s games, uh, for horror games, I think they do have some interesting, like, campy traits and, and stuff, so... Uh, yeah, I think this one does have charm in it, right? Because it's like anything with these like early 90s, mid 90s. I, I always find them pretty charming. Anything with strategic simulations, I'm always a fan of. Um, but yeah, uh, I think this one, I, the interaction with the environment's a little bit limited. Uh, yeah, I can only take stuff and, and bump into them, and that's really about it. And I'm not sure how to use these items either. But at the same time, it's pretty cool still as an early 90s horror adventure game. Um, I mean. Still a lot of cool horror adventure games, uh, you know, so I think it's still it's still charming in its own way. So anyways, I say if you guys are into DOS games, like early 90s DOS games, I would pick this up just for the charm of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to say this is like that like great, but uh, yeah, it could be interesting. Um, like a lot of these, yeah, a lot of just the early uh, 90s to mid 90s stuff I just find very interesting to play. So yeah, it's cool just to check it out. So that's it guys, Veil of Darkness, pretty cool early 90s horror game. Uh, what's the other one? Legacy, um, Reign of Terror I think is another one I played from the early 90s that was pretty cool. Um, and there's a lot of cool like early 90s to mid 90s DOS games uh, that are horror games as well. So, and that, that are kind of like this point and click. So I always find it pretty charming to play these kind of games. So, 